Well, hello, you glorious people of the interwebs, and welcome back to Zombago Nightmare. That's right, we are playing more of this magnificent game, and we got to track down Nigel West Dickens. Now, if you don't know, oh, that's a cliff. If you don't know who Nigel West Dickens is, make sure to check out my Red Dead Redemption 1 playthrough. We'll have another episode of that on the channel today. Uh, so I'm going to be trying to do, um, basically cycle the Red Dead Redemption 1, 2, and Undead Nightmare content. And then obviously any new content we get for Red Dead Redemption 2 will be showcased on the channel. Definitely keep an eye out for that. And if you find yourselves enjoying this, feel free to leave a like. It really helps out. But we need to get... Oh, that's a lot of zombies over there. I was going to call them zombie. Oh, Jesus, horse. Calm your zombie horse tits. God. So we got freaking wolves, zombie ho oh, zombie horses, and zombies. So I want another zombie horse because they're stupid fast and they have infinite stamina. But I don't want to have to fight a horde of zombies to get it, if at all possible. Uh, but we do need to get Nigel West Dickens. So that's a zombie horse there, and I don't see any zombies. So I think we're just going to tame this here real quick. What the hell is she doing? You look almost zombified. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. You zombie freak of nature. Get out of here. There we go. I ain't helping you. Oh, we got a volcanic pistol off of her. That is awesome. Very nice. Trying to trick me. I ain't being good at all in this game. Mm -mm. Ain't getting zombified. I'm going to be really sad if Miss McFarlane is in fact zombified. I'm going to be really sad. Hey, what's going on up in here? Where is my beautiful Bonnie McFarlane? Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. I was like, damn, are they like zombies riding horses now? That'd be terrifying. Where the hell are all the zombies at? Now that I figured out how to murder these bastards, life is a little bit easier. Oh, man, we got zombos all up in the joint. So we're going to try and light these guys on fire this time. Because we do not... Oh, they run so freaking fast. Woo! The controls leave much to be desired. All right, come here, Tubby. You got some ammo on you, so I definitely want to take you out. Whoa, God. Too many zombies, baby. Too many zombies. Get out of my way. Oh, God. No, 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 no. I ain't got enough ammo for you, stupid bastards. We do have two people that have dropped ammo, though. Or that have ammo. Oh, God. <laughs> the damn flaming running zombies. Leave a little bit to be desired. All right, we got a little bit of ammo we can spare here. There we go. No. Bad zombie. All right. We got to get the ammo out of these dudes here. There's some, some here. So as I'm learning this game, thank you for everybody for leaving comments and tips and stuff like that. Uh, I had no idea that the X's on the map are things that had ammo to pick up. And Oh, God, he just fisted my butthole. So we should be able to lure zombies into the fire to get caught. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, it did work. Yeah, baby, get caught on fire, you pricks. What's this one doing? Bad zombie. Just die already. No, 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 no. I don't think any of these guys have any ammo on them. So we just pretty much just... Oh, man. McFarlane's Ranch is going to take a lot of zombie killing. We only got to level 3, and we got to get to level 5 to save this town. Get off me, you oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, God. Did he just bite me? Uh, during a grapple... Okay, you can exterminate them with Y. You know what? Screw you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Prostitute, get off my ass. Jesus. McFarland's ranch is definitely just... I mean, it's out in the middle of nowhere. Why is it so infested with zombies? Alright. No. There we go. Hey, there's Bonnie McFarland. I hear her up there. Nice. Go to sleep, stupid zombie. Well, technically, they are asleep already. Ah, 
That's not Bonnie up there. It just sounds a lot like Bonnie. That's some old gangster grandma up top. Well, fancy that. Uh, let's see here. We've got some green dots hanging around. I wonder if that means we've got some... It should mean there's some, like, storage box. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Open container. Now, we didn't use a lot of ammo. We used some, but not a lot. So we got nine repeater ammo. Is that it? Oh, that leaves a little bit to be desired. All right, what's the stranger quest here? This has got to be Bonnie McFarland. First yeah! First the earth and you turn up. Could my week get any worse? Oh, nice to see you too, Miss McFarland. Oh, I thought you'd be dead. I heard things were bad in West Elizabeth. Sure. <laughs> but it'll take more than an apocalypse to take me down. What oh, are you? Baby. A demon or a cockroach? Both, I fear. How's your father? Fine and dandy. He should be coming out of that barn any moment now. Oh. Daddy! Famous last words. What's he doing in the barn? Daddy, John's here! Mr. Marston, you remember that idiot bounty hunter. What was he doing in the barn? Just rounding up the undead and keeping them safe so the rest of us can go about our business. He's a real man. He's probably playing around with them. Daddy, stop teasing me! Now come on now! How long's he been in there? Not long. Only since yesterday. Oh, yesterday? God. I better go have a look for him. Would you, John? You are kind. Call out to me if you find anything. Poor Mr. McFarlane. We know this ain't gonna go good. We're gonna have to kill poor Bonnie's dad. That's right. You go hide back inside where it's safe. Look for Drew in the McFarlane barn. If anything about zombie movies has taught me anything, it's that barns are full of zombies. And if you don't want to get attacked by zombies, don't go in a gosh darn barn. Find a way into the barn. Oh, you're going to do me like this, huh? How much ammo do I have? I think I've got more repeater ammo. Rolling block. Yeah. Okay, that definitely doesn't look barred, but maybe it's barred from the inside. Ah, right, we're going to have to climb our asses up in here. Real? Oh, yeah, there's definitely the sound of zombies in here. Some kind of weird sounds. I don't. Maybe it's not zombies, but we've got our way into the barn. They're gonna be rude zombies. I'm not a fan of. I'm not a fan of any zombie. But roof zombies definitely are a no-no. All right, Drew, let me get down here. You all right? I don't think he's okay. He would have responded already. Stupid zombies. Oh, it's a Tubby McTubberson. Get your ass up. I can't see you. Fell in the perfect position. Boop. All right. Last one, baby. Theoretically. I do not like these zombies. Drew, are you in here? Son of a beached whale. Don't do it, Drew. Don't do it, Drew. Sorry, Mr. McFarland. You were nah. a good man. Damn it all. That door opened way too easy. Ooh, oh, 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 I think he's got ammo on him, though. Come on, baby. Oh, there's a couple things with ammo here. Nice. Search the corpse. One repeater ammo. Gah. That would be my luck.
Well, John, you always do bring sunshine to my life. I'm sorry about your father. I'd like to say he died doing what he loved. But he never was one for eating folks. Not slathering from the lips and howling at the moon. I guess I'll content myself with saying that he died protecting those he loved. Indeed. Well. Take care of yourself, Bonnie. You too, John. Is that really the last time we're going to see Bonnie? No way. I guess so. Oh, you know what? There is a chest in here, though. Oh, if I could get to it. Oh, I can't even get into Bonnie's house. Oh, she just left. She just left me some ammo outside. Hopefully, she lives. Just what I need. More repeater ammo. I mean, it's not bad. I guess the repeater ammo is is welcome. I like the pistol though a little bit. In my humble but honest opinion. We've got one of these green skull markers on the map here, and this is where we originally met Seth. Oh, okay, this is these are the graveyards that we have to take out. That's right, so we got Coots Chapel here. Oh, boy. Now, I believe we just need to burn the coffin. Okay. I get the option? There we go. Burn the remaining coffins. Oh, shit. There's a lot of coffins. Good lord. Now, we can lure these zombies into the coffins, which makes it a little bit easier than the first time we did this. So that's what we're going to try and do this time. Go into the fire, into the fire, into the fire. Ring around the burning coffin. Pockets full of zombos. That doesn't sound like a good time at all. That makes life so much easier. Thank you once again for all the tips in the comments. You guys are absolutely amazing. And thank you again for the amazing support on the channel. Cannot say thank you enough. It's been a crazy few months. I hope you're all having a good new year. And I wish you all the best of luck in the year to come. Stupid zombie ass bastards. Oh, God. Hi. You got a ugly ass face. Oh, I thought that was a zombie horse. I was like, ooh, yay. Into the fire, please, sir. We don't need no zombie. Oh, God! Zombie butt touches. I'm not a fan. Not oh, am I on fire? Jesus! Oh, that one's fast. The zombies are fast in this game. Which makes the Whoa! It just makes them even more terrifying. Any more? Damn zombies, they're gonna be up in here. Die already, damn it. Yeah, you try and bite me again. Well, you want some, bro? I'm done running around with you bastards. I got ammo for days, meow. Oh, God. Oh, no butt touches, no butt touches, no butt touches. Thank you. Ah, shit, my cloak's on fire again. Oh, God. Oh, big mistake. John can't swim or stop, drop, and roll. Good lord, it's the never-ending zombie apocalypse of doom. Get away from my horse. Actually, I kind of want a zombie horse. It'd be cool if, if the zombies would attack your horse. And then you can just have a zombie horse that way. Am I out of ammo? No way. Got him. Whoa. Whoa. Alma Horlick. 1911. Died of six. What? What did she say? A freaking talking zombie. Mm -mm, 
I ain't playing with your ass. I got a shotgun for your talking zombie ass. Oh, her head didn't get blown out. Whoa! No, 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 no. Please. Oh, God. Just stop getting on fire. The duster cloak was a horrible idea. Ah! Jeez, he just trucked my ass. It trucked my ass. Damn, are you dead? Oh, my God. Pooped myself a little. That was terrible. Coots Chapel and the talking zombies. Oh. Woo. All right, let's click some ammo. Good old Fort Mercer. Oh, it's actually safe. A mythical creature has appeared in the area. Oh, uh, oh! Come on! Oh! It's one of the four horses of the apocalypse. Yes! Oh, this is awesome! Baby, come back. It's a flaming horse. Is that a freaking cougar? Cougar, get away from my flaming horse. I will murder the shit out of you. Oh, God. Ah! That's a funny kind of rabies. No, there's so many. Oh, God. No. <laughs> Oh my god. I can't believe on, that happened. Uh, so that, uh, the flaming horse of the apocalypse there got away. I have no idea if it's gonna get back, uh, like, if it comes, if, like, spawns back in this particular spot. Of course, the stupid frickin' cougar mountain lion cocksucking freaks of nature are gone. And so is my horse. Well, that makes me want to cry. I, I've tried to see if I can get it to respawn. And I've had no luck so far. Hey, somebody's out there. He ain't one of them. Open the gate. Howdy, Mister. Howdy. You're gonna be okay. Oh, don't tell me she got bit. Step right up. Don't be shy now. Don't be shy. <laughs> Nature confounds us, but science saves us. That's the truth, sir. That's the truth. <laughs> West Dickens patented tonic. The only 100% original, 200% guaranteed cure against the undead stalking this earth. It not only brings health and fitness to the sick and needy, it repels the undead and saves souls! Why, it's a natural miracle! And it's available now, here, at the low, low price of only 100 solid gold coins! That sounds expensive, but what price eternal damnation! <laughs> you, sir! You look healthy. Would you like to give it a try? Me, sir? Yes, sir. Would you care to demonstrate the undead defeating possibilities of this patented elixir? No, sir, I would not. What I would like is for you to stop peddling this nonsense right now. 100 gold coins? Well, what price would you pay for survival? Do they not know each other you in this me, one? Mr. West Dickens, okay. you tell me. Well, since you put it that way, um, uh, why don't all you chaps all take one for free now, and, uh, if you like it, when you like it, uh, you'll know where to find me. Uh, you won't find any undead around me. <laughs> take it, enjoy. <laughs> Thanks a lot, John. These people have lost their families. They've lost everything. Well, that's not my fault. I'm just trying to make an honest living here. No, you're not. Well, uh, Okay, but can I help it if demand is high? High? I'm offering the people hope, John. That's a precious commodity. The tonic really works. <laughs> These poor, awful undead creatures can't stand it. <laughs> Come here. Take a look. That's interesting.
One of Nigel West Dickens' tonics actually works? How is that possible? Um. Uh. What's with the super green one? Did he just make super zombies? Works like a charm. Uh, well, that wasn't quite what I expected. Stuff is like catnip to those bastards. Uh, well, I, I, I need more desert sage and uh, violet snowdrop, and then I know I can cure this foul plague. Okay. Back to doing your dirty work, am I? Now, don't be like that. Don't you remember the good times? Please? <laughs> I'm an old man. The good old days. All right. Here. Take it. Maybe you can use it to attract some of them. <sighs> okay. I'll see what I can do. And thanks. I'm sure this will come in real handy in case I want to meet some new and interesting friends. Can't believe he's not a zombie. Interesting. <laughs> uh, find five different sage and gaff tooth ridge and five snowdrop in the northern part of ta tall trees with zombies. You've gotta be shitting me. Tall trees? I ain't going to tall trees with zombies. Fort Mercer is a safe zone. The doors are locked, but the survivors have placed ladders along the outer walls. So Fort Mercer is actually a really great place to be. Not too shabby. Oh, freaking tall trees. You've got to be kidding. And that's like the only quest we can do right now. Uh, let's see here. So status unknown. We got some graveyards to take down still. Oh, tall trees. Birth of the con uh, conservation movement. Okay. And then I get oh, armadillo's got stuff around it too. What a bloody night. It is. I mean, it's undead nightmare, but it's more of a nightmare than I anticipated. I don't want to go to freaking tall trees. That's going to, I'm going to poop myself. It's going to happen. Oh my goodness. But anyways, we're, we're hanging out at Fort Mercer. We got, we got a lot done today. I mean, we cleared some graveyards. Can I get out this way? No. How do I even get out of this place? We got to see one of the horses of the apocalypse. We didn't get to tame it because of that stupid freaking cougar army from hell, quite literally. We saved Bonnie McFarlane. All in all, pretty darn good episode. If anybody knows what's the requirements for the spawning parameters for the four horses of the apocalypse, let me know. I would love to tame one but i hope you all enjoyed the episode thank you so much for watching i'll see you all in the next one